Hello! Today I'm going to talk to you about the Q&A feature in Google Slides. Now if you've made a lot of presentations, especially if you're lecturing in an educational setting, you're probably aware of how hard it is to make presentations interactive and engaging, rather than just droning on about the topic at hand. Google's Q&A feature changes all that by engaging the audience in the presentation by allowing them to actively ask questions. This is especially useful in large presentations, where you might have a lot of people that have an opinion as to what questions are most important, as they can vote on which questions they want answered. So here's a presentation template with just blank information in it to provide us with an example of how this works today. The key to launching this mode is in the drop-down arrow next to present. Instead of just clicking on the present button, click on this drop-down arrow here and choose presenter view. You will see underneath it how it mentions using the audience Q&A feature. So I'm going to select that now. When you launch this, you'll get the presenter view window here. Click on start new to start a presentation session. What you'll see next is that a link is displayed as a header across the top of your presentation. This is the link that attendees can use to submit questions based on your presentation. So I'm going to open a different browser window and log into this URL to show you what we see. There. As you can see, we have a very simple interface where I can type a question into the box at the top of the screen. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to ask, what is the most useful thing about presenter view? You'll also see that when I type this in, I have the option to ask the question anonymously if I don't want to be identified. I don't mind that, however, so I'll leave the box unchecked and submit my question. When we flip back to our presenter view, you'll see that the question has appeared in our window here. Now if someone has asked a really important question, we might want to address it with the whole group. We can do that by clicking on Present, and as you can see, the question is displayed in my actual presentation. This creates real engagement between you and your audience. Finally, let's just flip back to the view of the participant for a moment. You'll also see I have some thumbs up and down icons here. This allows us to vote up or down based on how much we want to see a question answered. This is useful for very large presentations, where a presenter might only have time to answer a few questions and can focus on the ones that receive the most upvotes. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Have a great day.